back on daytime. Now you can be at the top of your respective field with a truckload of experience behind you, but if your resume isn't up to par, you can lose out on wonderful career opportunities. So daytime's here to help out. We have the royalty of resume writers here giving us advice on how, as they say, to keep your resumes out of the trash. That's pretty much what you do, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, we've got Jeannie and Mark Simon here. Now, you have a very interesting name for your books. Give it to us here. Your resume sucks. That's the name, people. <laughs> Say it one more time. Your resume sucks. I love it. I love it. Now, you cater to entertainment industry professionals, but also this is, this is good for anybody as well, in a, a corporate environment too? Absolutely. I mean, we, quarter, we cater to the arts and entertainment industry because that's our background, but we also have corporate background, and our co-author in the book also has a heavy corporate background with Nissan. So I take it you've gone through a lot of resumes. You've been in front of a lot of, lot of bosses you know potential bosses I should say I guess. absolutely well we're freelancers okay. yeah it's actually worked both ways we've I've worked on over 2,500 different projects wow. in my career and I've also been in the position to hire hundreds of people so we've seen both sides so I know it works for me and I know it catches my attention from others great well let's get right to it okay so tell us what are your thoughts on job titles well no. job, well job Important. titles it's it's your job to tell the employer what it is you want to do for them. It's not their job to try to figure out what you can do from your resume. And most people, that's the main thing they leave off. They have their name at the top, but sure. I'm never looking to hire Lindsay. Right, right, I'm looking right. to hire a TV host. So put the title on top. It's the most important thing on your resume. Now, do you want to put a long title or just get to the point? You know, get to the point. TV no. host, producer, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point. Do with a little bit of research, you can find out exactly who, what they're looking for, and you can see if your experience supports that. Now, I know in college, <laughs> this is a horrible trick, but in college, a lot of people would always wonder, is it good to ever just stretch the truth a little bit? Make yourself sound a little bit better than you really are? Never. Okay. Don't do it. Because you've got to back it up because they'll look into it. Well, you have to back it up. And nowadays, with the Internet, and it's so easy to find out information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we say lies equal goodbyes. But, but the goodbye can happen before even hired. Right. When, I was, when I was a designer out in Hollywood, the, I had one credit for, as a designer, which was Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity. And I'm hiring for my second movie. A guy comes in to interview with me, hands me his resume. He has my only other credit on his resume. So not only is he a liar, the guy's too dumb to know who he's stealing from. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. Bad. All right. We get the point. Now, you guys, real quick, and this is probably the last thing we'll get to, but what if your education is lacking? What do you do then? Should you just put it all out there? Should you let them know? Or should you, should you really promote your other assets? Well, what we find is we get a lot of resumes in, and they put education first before, before even their experience. Mm -hmm. So if you put it on at all, you want to put it down at the bottom. You don't want to call it out. Um, and you want to put your experience in order that supports the job title. So put the most relevant experience first. Okay. Which means you leave off dates. But that's another point. Sure, sure. Well, no, that's <laughs> it's another point. Actually, what if, what if your experience happened eons ago, so long that's, ago? That's okay. They don't have to know that. We always say dates, date you, leave them off. Dates will never help you ever at all. It'll tell them how old you are. It can mislead them, give them the wrong information accidentally. Right. Plus, what do they do? They look at your work experience, and then they scan the dates to see where there's a gap. Sure, sure. <laughs> That's absolutely true. Hey, Mark and Jeannie, thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. Give us the name of the book one more time. Your Resume Sucks. <laughs> I love it. You I can find it. out more at yourresumesucks.biz. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. And I know Cindy's got something going on. Babe, what's coming up next?